What's going on everybody? Just wanted to show you this game that I have been playing for a little while now. I stumbled upon this kind of randomly when I was just looking for RTS strategy games and this one is pretty unique in terms of that um, that area, that genre of gaming. Uh, so it's called Goddess and it's like not like Goddess but like G-O-D-U-S and like God Us. Um, interesting title where you get to, um, I guess it kind of conveys that you get to be a god to these little people and you get to kind of sculpt the earth. So you kind of, I guess you're kind of playing the mystical entity of sorts and you start out the whole game by creating this land bridge for your followers to get to like a civilization and start building houses. And quickly you start to find that you can like move the land around or whatever. Yeah, okay. And when you make an area flat, they start to build houses and expand their civilization and, you know, build the population uh, in their tents and everything. Um, so you start out with this little patch that you're allotted and you can use that and you can mold it however you want. Although you do have a limit of this like these points that allow you to sculpt and that these points go away as you sculpt more you sort of spend them um and they're called like belief points i think and so what you do with these belief points is you, yeah you use them to sculpt and they build up more as your followers believe in you more and as you do more like god things so the better god you are like the more belief points you'll get you get the picture so you carve out this land as much as you can to build some population and eventually your population gets to a certain point, okay? And then you can expand into newer areas and you get more belief points and you can you can do more and more stuff as, as things progress on. So a major element to this game is these cards which will, you will unlock as you progress through the game, whether that be expanding the population of your the whole uh your followers all of your people in your village uh or eventually as you get bigger and bigger your freaking whole civilization area whatever you want to call it your whole country okay um starting out as a very small country eventually you can get up to like pretty big um you get these cards and they give you like newer aspects of the game so like this one leveled up my shelter so the shelters are better so like i guess eventually they would be like modern houses um, so to speak, although I never have, I haven't gotten to that point in the game. So as I'm moving things around, you can see that I'm getting more and more spaces to build shelters. And if you click on the tents, your people come out, your builders, and they build up houses. And it's interesting because it's, you're not really deciding like what to build or like what troops to have. So it's not like... You get some, you know, 50 warriors and like 60 builders and you have this many, you know, logs or this much gold to spend or anything like that. It's really just kind of like, hey, craft out this area and then your people will come and, and do this stuff, which gives you kind of like a <clears throat> like a hands off uh, like aspect to it a little bit like you're you're in control, but um, you're not like a th um, you're not like hyper in control. So definitely a really kind of unique design plus the. Um, uh, just to, to like complement the controls in this game, it's really easy to sculpt the land. You'll get kind of a feel for how that works, and it's weird. Like if you destroy trees, you somehow get like more belief points. <clears throat> if you sculpt the land, you don't. You do, if you destroy the rocks and the trees, yeah, you get more belief points, and that helps you sculpt more. So that is unique. I don't know why destroying trees gives you more belief points, but that's kind of cool. Building out the uh, civilization is pretty much the main point of the game. You will see to like the left there, there's this little like chest that has these little like confetti colorful things like coming out the top of it. These chests have little um, like points that you can use to to unlock cards. So you'll want to sculpt as much as possible to find those chests, and they're usually hidden under like mountains and areas like that. Not so much you know like under the water but there are like a ton like hidden everywhere and you can one of these things shows you one of these uh, areas uh one of these options excuse me 
will show you um, how many chests are like available in your like given area that you can go in, which is kind of like blocked off at the edge with like this fog of war thing. You'll see like there's a gray area that you can't get into. And starting out there is like not like a huge delay. I probably have only played this game for like, you know, a couple of hours total, maybe like six hours total. Um, like on and off as you can see it's like you you can get pretty far like pretty quick um, but okay here just one thing on this so you can when you get to a certain point when your population gets so far you can build a beacon of expansion and that'll unlock the next area because like this this island that you're on is like massive but you can't access all of it yet um, so anyhow when you build the beacon of expansion, it unlocks a new area. You have more land with which to expand your civilization to, and you can move onward and upward. And some levels of land, you get the message that you're not powerful enough to sculpt them yet, and that gets unlocked as you go through the game. So you can only sculpt, I think, like four levels above ground level and four levels below and if you go like really deep into the ocean or really high up on a mountain you'll see that you can't sculpt those yet but that goes away pretty quick so as you can see i've progressed a little bit more i've done some voyages which are a nice little subsection of the game where you send your followers out to some islands and they go and they worship some obelisks uh, I think her like they pray at a certain area and then that gives you like more belief and That gives you like more points with which to expand the game The only weird thing with the voyages is there's only like five and once you do them They're just done and it says that there will be more voyages to come um, I hope that that is a thing that there are more voyages to come because they do add a lot to the game They do unlock a ton of cards. So that is really good Okay, so now I've expanded to the point where I've got another beacon, and as you can see, it's covered in swampland, all this gunky oil-looking stuff, and if you send people up there to work on it, they will just kind of die, and that sucks. So what you have to do is you have to unlock a card where you can use your god powers to get rid of the swamp. And I haven't quite gotten there, but you can see I've unlocked farming, I've unlocked like really big houses, you can take your houses and you can like meld them together so you have like these sort of like apartment complexes or whatever you know like mega huts and you have these mega huts and it's pretty sick all the houses have like over time they cook up a certain amount of like belief points and you can just sort of click on them it's those little like purple balls and you harvest the belief points and then you use that to sculpt more land and bring everything down as you can see i've got some nice beachfront property and farming going on here and all sorts of nice stuff although one challenge during the game is that your followers will lose happiness if you don't do like enough god stuff if you aren't like doing a lot of miracles which you get like some you definitely get like some abilities that you can use during the game that are pretty cool and like you can make things rain and you can like put up these pretty little trees that you see all around here you don't want to destroy those those are like for like beautification um, and they make your people happier, but the one aspect that kind of sucks is that I seem like no matter what I've done It's just kind of like my people just get less and less happy and they keep defecting to this other tribe to the north Which kind of sucks, but anyhow um, Moving into the future. Hopefully there's something I can figure out here that will get them to be happier But um, it's pretty cool. This game keeps you very busy like harvesting all of the points and kind of planning how to um, you know like expand your area and keep your people busy um, they do need food now to build and that's pretty cool so yeah I would definitely check this game out it's really neat um, I'm gonna see how far I can push it I will put a link in the video and thank you for watching it's a pretty neat game pretty organic when I'd like to see like a second one or just more content for this one as I found it really enjoyable